Hold on. Hello. Yeah, I have a paper presenting actually about the investments in, in the People's Republic of China in renewable energy. But myself, I'm not from China. I see there are many experts on China here in this room. So please, I really hope to hear your comments after my presentations. And, and please correct me if, if any mistakes. Um, yeah, th thank you. So this, this research based on uh, data set. So we explored the um, big data set from Bloomberg New Energy Finance. And um, you probably all know that renewable energy investments are really high comparing to all other technologies. Now, electrified transport is getting larger investments, uh, but still uh, renewable energy investment is a dominant uh, investment in energy transition. So that's why it's very important. And of course, uh, People's Republic of China invests a lot in renewable energy. So that's why we started with this case because lots of data available from China. Um, so, um, Investments really grew up very fast, like by 60% from 2020 and reached uh, over 266 billion. Um, yeah, and uh, I think among all other uh, countries globally and especially in developing Asia, uh, People's Republic of China really invests a lot in renewable energy recently. Yeah, so this data set from the Bloomberg New Energy Finance, um, shows that most investments come from utilities and less comes from industrials, financials, and energy. And if you look at which technology is mostly investment, that's solar and wind. I think that makes sense because globally, these two technologies have the most competitive cost, um, solar and wind. Yeah. And utilities, yeah. So I think utilities include these uh, power plants. Yeah. Okay, um, so what research question of this paper? We want to see which firms actually invest in renewable energy. Um, so the result of this paper, we want to give policy recommendations, um, uh, how to make more targeted policy recommendations to incentivize firms to invest in renewable energy. Uh, so I think this is a clear contribution because we are using firm level data um, and look at firm characteristics. Um, from one country, so we started with this just um, with PRC. Why? Because it has lots of data, lots of companies, and lots of investments in renewable energy. So for this one, actually, it took us a very long time to collect data set. Why? Because we merged uh, uh, two data sets. We actually wanted to merge three data set, but it took a long time, so we stopped at two data sets, very large. That is Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Uh, over this period, 2015-2020, uh, we took all available renewable energy projects in PRC available in this data set. And another one is very large data set is S&P Capital IQ as well, because they have um, lots of firm characteristics, firm level data. Um, but after all this matching and checking data, um, some firms were lost and eventually we end up with only, we started with like around 1000 firms, 800, something like that. But eventually we end up with 279 firms only. Um, but uh, it includes very, very large investors, like for example, Agricultural Bank of China, State Power Investor Corporation and so on. Um, Okay, so this is the data set and this is the variables. Again, um, we wanted to make more, take more variables, but because of data limitations, so we took those variables who got less missing variables, which have most available data. So our dependent variable, the main dependent variable is renewable energy investment. So we look at the ratio, not uh, in um, currency, it's a ratio. Uh, sum of renewable energy project in US dollars provided um, for each firm divided by working capital. Yeah. And then we took some other firm characteristics, which we think will describe decision of investing in renewable energy. Um, so including like firm sales, uh, return on asset, firm age, firm scale, energy cost. Yeah, um, some other variables are missing, I think, because um, we wanted to add them, but they have lots of missing observations, so we had to drop them. Yeah, so you can see the amount of observation, 200, 677, 
uh, although the number of companies over 200, but observations is over 600. Why? Because companies invest like uh, not just one year, right? They invest several years. So that's why the sample size is actually larger. Yeah. And um, so this is the, the model we wanted to see on the left hand side, we put renewable energy investments. And on the right hand side, all the firm characteristics which can explain um, investment decision. And also uh, we added energy cost. Yeah, okay. And um, okay, I won't talk too much about these models. And then we tried also to add some ESG variables, ESG related variables. Um, actually also ESG indexes and other variables were many missing. So we took those which um, what was mostly available. That's the cost of air, air gases. Um, cost of air pollutants as percent of the company's revenue. And second, external cost of greenhouse gases emissions as percentage of company's revenue. Okay, so this is the represent environmental cost. Okay, so here are the results. Uh, first is a baseline model. Uh, many results actually as expected. And uh, some, some, some are not as expected. Um, so I will go one by one. So firm characteristics um, of asset has negative impact on firm revenue investment. Um, so which means that um, uh, larger firms invest less. Then uh, we find that leverage play crit uh, critical role and has effect significant and positive. Firm age, positive effect. So the older firms invest more in renewable energy. Uh, energy cost has positive effect, means lower energy cost, uh, lower investments. And um, okay, here we try to explain why lower energy cost, low investment. So you can see this on the right hand side. Uh, the levelized cost of energy, of renewable energy, um, we tried to make it weighted for China. It was reducing, uh, declining, uh, but investments, you can see they up and then uh, down, and then this is capacity. So we think there is some delay between investment and capacity, and also when cost declines, then less um, less uh, dollars will be needed for the same capacity construction. So that could be several reasons why um, energy cost has positive impact on, on investments. Yeah, and then, um, so we tried with some interaction terms. And um, so with ESG, I'll skip some files, some slides. So with ESG, here, the air pollutants. Um, just a second. Okay, so um, res main results can be summarized as following. Uh, we find that financial leverage and firm age has positive uh, and significant effect on renewable energy investments. Then firm size, and return at the assets negatively affect investments in renewable energy. And the ratio of revenue to total asset also has positive effect. And for ESG variables, uh, we find positive impact. So the higher uh, cost of pollution, then firms will invest more in renewable energy. So I think this is very important result. Um, but then effect is not significant. Yeah, so it's it's positive, but not significant. So we couldn't confirm that ESG variables has significant effect on renewable energy investments. So this could be due to some data limitations. Yeah, uh, so I'm looking forward to your comments. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Dina. Is there any questions? Uh, Dina, maybe I, I have one uh, question or comment. Uh, 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 did you consider COVID-19 impacts into your model? Because I, I noticed that there is a, a reduce of the uh, investment during, for example, like uh, uh, 2020. 
right? I believe this kind of reduce is uh, was caused by COVID-19 lockdown policy of China, because the in China the lockdown policy is very serious, and <laughs> yes, in this case the the company or uh, cannot uh, uh, operate as usual, and uh, they have maybe have no motive motivation to 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 uh, set, set up a PV anymore because they yeah they can even cannot uh, survive yeah during 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 this kind of period in this case their mo uh, motivation or uh, for the PV or some kind of renewable energy uh, 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 demand renewable energy demand is very low in this case maybe if you remove those kind of points maybe it looks more how to say uh, the results will look more make sense yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's great suggestion maybe i should add this um like a dummy variable or stringency index something of COVID. yeah mm, yes yes mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah, that's a great suggestion. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah, I didn't know it's so strong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Any questions?